there is a new trick to force berry farming on your Pokemon. And this time, we're not relying on sneaky snacking. Welcome back to another Pokemon Sleep video, it's Bro Vinny here. So what we're not talking about today is this video here. We're not talking about the fact that when your Pokemon's inventory is full, it will only farm berries. And by that I mean 100% of production goes to berry, not that ingredients are lost when the inventory is full. So some of you have used this strategy to force your Pokemon to give you more berry strength. This is particularly useful if you've got berry specialists, because where you can, you want that berry specialist to give you as much berry production as possible over ingredient production. But there's a problem with this. And the problem is that if your inventory is always full, so always forcing that sneaky snacking, always forcing the berries to drop, then you'll never get any skill triggers. And I'm referring to this video I've made in the past, which shows you that if your Pokemon is constantly at full inventory, you're not going to have any skill to trigger. But now there's a new method where you can have not full inventory and still force berry farming. And as far as I'm aware, this method was first described by Falcon Punch 999 on Reddit. And we have attempted to verify this ourselves, and so far, it holds true. Now the trick to this method, and also why this hasn't been noticed before, is that your ingredient bag must have an over-limit amount of ingredients. So if your bag space is 340, you're going to have 345 ingredients for this to happen. And it doesn't happen if you're on exactly full inventory. Now if this method did work at full capacity, this method would have been noticed a lot earlier. But how do we get to this over limit capacity? The way to do it is to use your ingredient tickets. So while you cannot use your ingredient ticket if your bag is full, so in my case 360 out of 360, what you can do is you can actually sell one or two of your ingredients like this. You just click on your ingredient and you click sell. And as long as your bag is not at capacity when you use the ingredient ticket, the app will allow you to use it. So I'm going to use three ticket now just to demonstrate that. One, two, and three. And you'll see that I can't use any more because my ingredient bag is full. And as you can see, I'm over the capacity of the ingredient bag. Now it appears that at this point, all my Pokemon will farm are berries. And this is one of the verification posts I made myself. You'll see that previously when I had over the limit of ingredients in my bag, my Pokemon only farmed berries. So you can see that Slovini, Totoilet, Cubonus, Blast Milk and Gaslight, they all have only berry production. And while I didn't record this and you're just going to have to believe me, skills do trigger using this method. And that's because you can actually collect these berries, unlike the situation with sneaky snacking, so that you empty out the Pokemon's inventory, allowing it to trigger skills again. So that means if you've got enough ingredients and you don't need your Pokemon to drop any more ingredients, you could use this method to produce more berries and ultimately increasing Snorlax's strength even further. The only drawback of this method compared to the sneaky snacking method is that this method applies to the whole team, whereas the sneaky snacking method, you can just choose the one Pokemon that you only want berry production. So for example, in my case, I might only want my berry finding S for alligator to drop berries, but everyone else, I want them to have skill triggers or ingredients. So then I would leave for alligator at full inventory. This new method feels like a bug. It doesn't feel like an intended feature of the game. Why would the game want you to use one ticket just before you reach capacity on your ingredient bag in order to trigger this method? So because it feels more like a bug, I would say that if you're going to do it, do it now. Before, select button, patches the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.